It says, if Matt's budget changes from $100 to $200, what is the change in the quantity of beer Matt consumes? So we know our first budget is $100, which gives us the budget constraint. 100 is equal to the price of sandwiches times the quantity of sandwiches, plus the price of beer times the quantity of beer. It told us in the question that the price of beer was $7, and that's not going to change throughout the question. The price of sandwiches is $5, and that's not going to change either. The utility function is 0.7 times the ln of QB plus 0.4 times the ln of QS, and that's not going to change. So to maximize utility, we know we're going to use the optimization condition, which says the margin utility of beer divided by the price of beer must be set equal to the margin utility of sandwiches divided by the price of sandwiches in order for us to be maximizing utility. So we need to solve for the margin utility of both beer and sandwiches. That's just the derivative of the utility function with respect to each variable. So we find that the mar marginal utility of beer is 0.7 divided by QB. So we divide that by the price of beer, which is $7. We set that whole thing equal to the margin utility of sandwiches, which is 0.4 divided by QS, divided by the price of sandwiches, which is $5. The denominators that are in the numerator, QB and QS, they both belong in the denominator, so we can move them there. Now we can cross multiply. 7QB times 0.4 gives us 2.8 QB, 0.7 times 5 QS gives us 3.5 QS. And now we need to solve for one variable in terms of the other variable. And which variable do we solve for? Well, it's asking us about the consumption of beer. So we are interested in solving for QB. So we want to solve QS in terms of QB. So we divide 2.8 by 3.5 and we see that QS is equal to 0.8 QB. So from here, we want to go back to our budget constraint. We know that we, know that we uh, have PS and PB already solved for, which is they given to us in the question as $5 and $7 respectively. Now we want to plug in our 0.8 QB for QS, and now we just have our budget constraint in terms of the quantity of beer we drink. So we can simplify it. And we see that 100 is equal to 11 QB. So when we have $100, we're going to drink 9.09 beers. Now, the only thing that's changing is our budget. Our budget is going from $100 to $200. So we don't have to rework all that the th steps we just did because our utility function hasn't changed. The price of beer hasn't changed. The price of sandwiches hasn't changed. The only thing that changed is that 100 is now 200. So 200 is also equal to 11 QB. And we solve and we find that with a $200 budget, we're going to buy 18.18 beers. So to find the change in beers, again, we don't want to remember a particular order here. We just want to think about it. Our income has gone up. It's increased. So we have more money to spend, which means the, the change in beers is going to be a positive number. So 9.09 .09 is the change in beers, and it is positive.